Welcome to God's Playbook with your host, Father Rico Passero. Lock is a 20, 10, 5, touchdown! Touchdown! Let's play ball. Friends, welcome back to God's Playbook. Today we're going to talk about the holy days of the church, answering the question from one of our listeners, what's the difference between a solemnity, a feast day, or a memorial? What a great question, listeners. Thanks for bringing it up. So in the church, there are a variety of special days through the liturgical year. The priority is always the feasts and celebrations of the Lord. First and foremost, of course, Easter Sunday and the Easter season, followed by Christmas Day and the Christmas season. And then throughout the year, there are special celebrations. The concept or the term solemnity is one of the highest celebrations in the church. And so the difference between the titles gives the level of importance. So memorial a feast day, and then a solemnity, solemnity being the most important. So as we approach in the next few weeks ahead, we're going to celebrate the solemnity of the Holy Trinity, the solemnity of Corpus Christi, or the body and blood of Jesus. This signifies that this day is of of the highest importance. When we look at feast days or memorial days, These are of lesser importance. So we think of feast days is usually that of a saint. So we have the feast of St. Maria Goretti, or the feast day of John Paul II, or the memorial of blessed Giorgio Frassati. There are many different feast days and memorials that can be celebrated that are optional for the priest at Mass. Today, there was an option for celebrating St. John the First. This is, if we were to celebrate it, the priest would wear red clothes because he was a martyr. If it isn't celebrated because it's an option, the priest would wear white for Easter. So if you join me for Mass today, I chose to wear white in Easter. So it's showing that it's optional. But when we are celebrating a solemnity, this can only be celebrated. There is no plan B or plan C. There's no alternatives. This is of utmost importance. So that's where you'll see in the Missal, if you follow along the Missal, or you might hear the priest say, today is the feast of the solemnity of whatever. So that's what you're going to hear from the priest, depending on the importance of the day. So when you think of the Apostles, today is the Feast of St. Simon and Jude, October 28th. Today is the Feast of Saints Peter and Paul, June 29th. Today is the Solemnity of the Body and Blood of Jesus. We also recognize that solemnities fall either on a certain day or within the liturgical year. So for instance, depending when the Easter season falls, friends, will dictate when the Solemnity on the Trinity or the body and blood of Jesus is celebrated, where you have other solemnities that are always on the same day. Feast of St. Joseph, March 19. The Solemnity of the Assumption of Mary, August the 15th, etc., etc. So that's what the term solemnity versus feast day versus memorial. It's depending on the impact of the day and what is being celebrated. Anytime it's on the Lord, always a solemnity. Anytime it's not on the Lord, then it could be a solemnity, a feast day, or a memorial, depending on what the church has demonstrated for that day. So it's important that we learn the terminology that the church uses, and then feel free to include that in our language as we talk about the importance of the particular liturgical season, the liturgical day we're celebrating, and perhaps even the day that we look ahead to. So as we continue to thank God for the gift of the Easter season, we thank God for the gift of our liturgical season. Let us also praise God for the ability to praise him, whether it's a solemnity, a feast day, or a memorial. For God's Playbook, I'm Father Rico. 
God loves you and so do I. If you like what you hear, please consider supporting us using any of our affiliate links in the description below via Budsprout, Ko-Fi, or GoFundMe. Thanks, and God bless.